Once every year, Eugenia Mejia takes her three daughters to her home country, the Dominican Republic. She wants them to know all their relatives on the Caribbean island, but more importantly, she wants to instill the Dominican culture in them. It's your roots. You may expand and, and, and adapt, you know, like the leaves fall in, in, when it gets cold, um, and then they come back in the spring, but the roots remain. So maintaining our culture is, is sort of the root, is my foundation. Mejia migrated to America with her parents in the 60s. That period was known as a decade of political instability on the island, which resulted to mass migration to the United States. Each year, the number of Dominicans in America has increased drastically, exceeding more than a million people. Like Mejia and her family, more than 25% of people with Dominican ancestry live in New York. She uses many ways to teach her children the culture. Part of the culture is that I try to hold them back a little bit to be sort of age appropriate. That's a ritual. When you're 15, then you wear makeup, you, take your, you can take your eyebrows out. And my mother did that with me. When her first daughter, Christina, turned 15, she didn't have a coincinera, which is equivalent of America's sweet 16. Nonetheless, Mejia and her husband of 20 years, Leo, made it a memorable event as it is part of the culture. We went to the Dominican Republic and they made a big fuss about okay. her. So that was a rite of passage that they went to, she went to a club, a disco. You know, the kind of thing there where she could have had a drink if she wanted to. However, Mejia is finding out that teaching her children the Dominican culture may not be as easy as it was when she was growing up in the 70s. The culture on the island is changing with time, and she's not pleased with some of the new trends. The girls dress very um, provocatively, but they're supposed to be virginal. Virginal, like virginal you can't kind of. go out like just to go grocery shopping or something. Everyone has to. You get like dressed. You have to look like presentable, and then you go out there, and all like the women and girls have like low-cut tops on, or high heels, or like, tight jeans, or you know a short skirt or something. But you're not expected to act the way you dress. Christina says she enjoy the warm atmosphere on the island as well as the usuals. There's usually like rice with some sort of meat beans. But the 17-year-old says she rather consider herself American. And there are aspects of the Dominican Republic that I dislike. Uh, one of them being the way women are sometimes treated. Women um, kind of sort of are lower on the social totem pole. They serve their husbands or whatever. Her mother has given her Caribbean dance lessons, but her preference has remained. American music mostly. I don't really dance. Um, my mom kind of like tries to teach us and not a dancer. My sisters, I guess, are more into than I am. While Christina may not be able to dance to Caribbean music, she has learned the essential part of the culture. And family really comes first. There's a lot of family gatherings. Although she's not on the island, she's expected to keep in touch with her cousins and other relatives. For the New York City News Service, I'm Adiola Oladili.